I would like to ask you a question that I've been wanting to know for a while. It is in Numbers 18, verse 19. Yes, sister. All the heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel offer to the Lord, I have given to you and your sons and daughters with you as an ordinance forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before the Lord with you and your descendants with you. Sister Maria Luisa, I would like to know if you could please explain to us what is the covenant of salt? Now, what occurs with the covenant of salt is that the Lord had ordered Moses from the beginning that whenever sacrifices were made, they needed to put salt on them. He said, you need to put salt on all the sacrifices. And God made promises to Moses when he gave him the ordinances and he gave him all of the rules So this is when the Lord, he made the covenant of salt and they began to obey using the salt because this salt had a symbolic meaning for the future. And in the future, when our Lord Jesus Christ was teaching the doctrine, the gospel, he told his apostles, he said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the salt. If the salt... loses its flavor, well, then it's of no use. Therefore, it needs to be thrown out. And the Lord tells them, you are the salt and you need to give flavor. That's how you season food. So he was saying to them, you, the apostles, with your example, with your doctrine, with the power God has given and how he's empowered them, they would be realizing the work of evangelizing and showing God's path. That was the salt. They were the salt of the earth. And that salt here was reflected on what God had said to Moses, that every sacrifice, every animal needs to be salted. And it was God looking toward the future. And that salt was meaning the testimony, doctrine, and knowledge of God and God's power. What a person has from God, that is what that salt means. And so Salt is good. Now, maybe sometimes people in the world think it's bad luck. They think it's a bad superstition, but it's not for us. We say, Lord, I want to be very salty because I need to season and give flavor to many people of what you give us. And so that flavor, that seasoning, that demonstration of God, the demonstration of God's power, that is the salt. Let's continue. 